Welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Thanks for coming back if you are a subscriber and welcome if you're new. This video was requested by Lady Suzanne Jane, one of my lovely subscribers. Uh, she asked me if I could do a video on my trench coats as she had seen them in some of my videos and also hanging about in my closet. And I thought it was a great idea to film that video today because it is a cold, miserable day here. Now, I know that I have couched cold in Brisbane with, um, you know, below 20 degrees Celsius, but I'm pretty sure at the moment it's sitting at 16 or so, but feels like 13 or so. So that's cold. Um, so a great day to show you these trench coats. What I want to do is just give you a look at the ones that I have, if I like them, if I recommend them, um, how often I wear them, what they're suitable for, wear and tear. I'll do some mod shots because I love doing mod shots, not. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about prices. I'm pretty sure you can do your own research on prices um, in your particular area. But yeah, if you think it's worth it or not, um, that's kind of the idea of this video. So I have three pieces by Burberry. And I'm going to start with the piece... Well, I bought two pieces at the same time. So I will start with my most used piece to my least used piece and I'll give you a bit of an overview. Okay, this is my most used piece. This is the Burberry Kensington Trench. I bought this on my first trip to New York City with my wonderful friend Leanne. Um, we both bought a trench that trip and it was just a fabulous experience on Fifth Avenue. We were trying on all of the trenches and we were getting them adjusted to the correct length and being shown different ways of wearing it. You can see that I have mine buttoned out inside out. Um, I really like this look. Um, I find that it's much more flattering on me to have it run long ways, um, particularly in a light color, than to have it um, as a double-breasted coat and as I've said I live in a subtropical climate so this one is my most worn because I wear this through winter as a layering piece and also in the cooler spring and autumn transseasonal times of the year um, I can push the sleeves up and wear this three-quarter length over a dress with some ankle boots um, it looks great for work through the day I wear it out at night um, for date nights um, it's just amazing. It's been to the dry cleaners a bunch of times. Um, so it's no longer waterproof because they come with a protective coating on them. And once you get them dry cleaned, I think that that interferes with that um, protective coating. So I wouldn't use it as a rain jacket. Um, but you can see how soft this is. Like it's just so, so comfy to wear. So a few things that you might want to know about. Um, if you buy a trench from Burberry, you are, for the first three months of purchase, you can have the sleeves adjusted for free. So in Australia, they will send them off to their atelier, um, preferred atelier in Singapore, and they will do that for you. Um, I know this because I had my other trench um, um, what do you call it? Altered. Um, now this one, I probably need to get it done because I bought this in 2012 and I have used it every single year since. Um, you can see that I've got a little bit of wear around the um, cuffs. So if I had this um, sleeve taken up just a touch, that would freshen up the ends of those cuffs, if you can see there. Um, what else? It does mark... I would say it would mark relatively easily, but I've never had a problem getting any of the stains um, taken out. The buttons are all still in really great condition. So when they clean this, um, it's always wrapped. They always wrap the buttons in foil. And you can also see that there's a chain detail here as well. Um, so I always find it's um, been looked after when I have it cleaned. Um, this trench, I will put it on, but it sits just above the knee on me. Um, 
as I said, this is a longer, um, what do you call it, like a boxier cut, so it's not as much of a tailored cut trench as my other one. I love this colour, it's such a great neutral. Um, what else do I need to tell you? It's got two pockets on the front, so they have buttons as well, which is the perfect length for just popping your hands in if you want to keep warm. The inside lining is really... Um, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like an old flannelette shirt. Like it just feels really, really cozy and soft and comfy. Um, the beauty of this coat is that it feels like an old friend. It doesn't feel like a lot of those stiff designer pieces that you can't move in. They look great, like a Balmain jacket. They look fantastic. I have one, but I can't almost lift a glass of wine to <laughs> my mouth because just of how boxy and structured it is. Whereas this coat, this is like my old friend. Um, it's my favorite. If this one ever um, got to a point where I felt it was tatty and it had seen its last days, I would definitely repurchase. So that's the Burberry Kensington Trench. Um, I'd say this is just the archive beige. I'm not really sure of what the color is. Now my size, so, I have taken a USA 10, which I think is an Australian 14, a UK 12. Um, I find the trenches, I want to be able to layer underneath them. So I don't want mine tight. And this is one time when I don't let size have that intellectual play with me. Um, I just go with what is going to look best. So I will pop this one on and show you what it looks like on me. Now my next trench you might not have seen in any of my videos. You may have spotted it hanging up. It's this one. Now I do not know what this style is called. Um, there might be something on a tag somewhere. I have no information about what this is called. I would call this a, a spray jacket. Um, it's it's definitely outerwear. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. It kind of looks like it's waterproof, but I don't think it is because I've had it dry cleaned. It's got these beautiful belled sleeves. I, again, I bought this one at the same time as the Kensington uh, trench in New York. I was in New York in springtime and I saw this jacket and I'm like, that's amazing. Um, it's got an amazing shape. It has these um, uh, elastic kind of gathering ties here where you can pull the waist right in and really change the shape of it. So I think you can see it there. It's got this great collar. Um, the zip here can be... Um, um, zipped up to the middle and then you know left open at the bottom or left open at the top and just used as a bit of a mid button it's also got a hood which is in the collar here which helps the collar um, maintain its structure I wear this a lot again transseasonally obviously it's a much more casual piece um, it's been able to grow with me as my waistline has expanded I can just let those elastic bits out which is also fabulous Again, it's in that beautiful um, neutral colour, but this one throws a little bit more of a green olive compared to the, um, the trench. And this is again a piece I'm so thankful that I bought because, um, look at the lining. So it's got a silky lining on the inside in the check and then the sleeves are in a plain um, colour. It's just, I mean, I've never used these top pockets. But again, there's two pockets in the side here. Um, it's a really unique piece. I think it's pretty timeless um, and it's something I will always hold on to. recently so recently 2018 not that recent anymore 
This was the newly released Chelsea Trench. Um, so this is in a navy, if you can see the colour there. Um, it has a different check pattern than the um, Kensington Trench. This one is quite a lot longer. It's below the knee and it's a much more tailored fit. So it um, has a slimmer sleeve. It is slimmer through the body. Um, it sits really nicely around your waist and then drops from there so it looks beautiful over a dress um, it also looks great with just jeans and a and a sweater um, I haven't worn this one very much that's why I'm talking about it last um, for a couple of reasons one we didn't get much of a winter last year two um, because of the color because I wear a lot of dark bottoms I um I tend to like the contrast of the lighter trench to be honest. Um so I have found that I don't use this one as much yet anyway. Um this one, you know, has a lot more detail on the um on the tag. Um and it also says what it is here whereas my old one doesn't have any of that detail on it. And in this one, I have gone up a whole size. So this is a US 12, which would be an Australian 16, which is unbelievable because when I put it on, um, it's very slim line. So um, this one again, I tend to wear this one open and belted up. So I will show you that in the mod shot so you can see how I style it. Um, really glad to have it in my collection. I did look at black and I've just found that the black was a little bit too harsh because it's so inky black. And again, for our climate, I think the navy is a little bit more forgiving, even against a black evening dress. When you're out at night, you can't really see the navy. Um, so it will get you to and from an event looking really sharp. Um, but it also looks great for daytime as well. This one I haven't had cleaned yet, so I am not aware of whether it's waterproof or not. Um, and I bought it in Barcelona because the refund that I received from Barcelona was about 14% to the, the VAT tax refund. So um, although I didn't save tax on my New York purchases, at the time that I went, the dollar was parity, meaning the Australian dollar was equal to the value of the US dollar. And so therefore it was quite a competitive um, purchase compared to buying at home. So I'm gonna try these on for you so you can have a bit of a look. <music> recommend that you have a Burberry trench in your closet. abso effing -lutely. I don't believe that they are overrated. I don't believe that they're boring. I think they work with so many different styles. London streetwear is, um, you know, a constant source of inspiration. I am not cool enough to wear, you know, those sorts of clothes, but I really love the versatility of being able to wear these as a lady when I go off to work um, or if I'm going out for a nice dinner and I want to dress up or with what I'm wearing today with just a sweater, some black jeans and ankle boots. So I'm interested to see what you think. Have you had your eye on a trench? Which one is your favorite? Do you like the Kensington? Do you like the Chelsea? Do you like the little short spray jacket? Um, these are things that are seasonal pieces, the spray jacket. So, um, you know, you might need to keep an eye on the website. They do have some great sales. I was actually looking at buying my puffer jacket from Burberry and I didn't because I found a really nice one from Macage, but, um, and also because I didn't, there was no return policy. It was a sale, but it didn't have the same warmth rating. Um, 
would I buy a puffer jacket from Burberry? Absolutely. I think um, Emma from Emma Anders on YouTube. Hey, Emma, if you're watching, hopefully you are. Can we be friends? Um, she bought a Burberry puffer jacket and she revealed it recently on one of her coats um, or things she bought in ISO or before ISO. Anyway, stunning, beautiful, nice belt. Looked really tailored and um, fit beautifully. So... Yeah, have a look at Burberry for coats, but especially the trench. You just can't go wrong in my opinion. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, so I will see you next time. Bye.